Hello everyone, welcome back again to our channel Coders Arcade. In today's tutorial, I will be talking about one important concept in Python, which is also there in other programming languages. It is the ternary operator. Okay, so before starting with this video, I would like to request all of you to please like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and also share our videos with your friends and family if you really like them. At the same time, please don't forget to hit the bell icon because it will help you to receive notifications regarding the latest posts that you are uploading in our YouTube. Okay, and thank you for all your support. So, without any more further ado, let's get started. As I said, today's topic will be ternary operator in Python. Okay, as you can see here, I am inside my PyCharm IDE and I already have the project created, Coders Arcade. Here, I will create a new directory called ternary operator. Okay, and inside this, let us create a Python file, say ternary operator. So first let me write a comment. So basically if you guys have come from Java or C or C++ background, you might remember the syntax of the ternary operator, right? It was something like this. Condition, question mark, true value, colon, false value. Okay, this was the syntax there. But when we are talking about Python, let me just give you the basic idea of how we interpret that. Okay, so ternary operator is actually a simplified version of the if else statement. Okay. So actually this operator evaluates a statement and then performs an action based on what? based on whether the result of the given expression is true or false, okay? Fine. So, let me show you a simple example on how we can use the ternary operator in Python. So, let us try to do this. How to find the max and min values using the ternary operator? Let's see how to do it. Okay, let me just reduce the size a little bit. Okay, and then let me take two variables v1, comma v2 is equal to, let me simply say. 100 comma 200 okay so as you can simply see v1 is less than v2 right so let us try to find the max and the min numbers so i will say min underscore number is equal to the syntax goes like this say min number will be equal to v1 if v1 is greater than v2 else it will be v2 that's all Pretty simple, right? And similarly, I can say max number is equal to v1 if, so I think I've written something wrong here. It should actually be less than and here also it should be, we are finding the max, right? So if v1 is greater than v2, it will be the max number or else v2 will be the max number. So this one will be the other way around, right? So if the v1 number is less than v2, then min number will be v1. Otherwise, if v2 is less than v1, v2 will be the min number, right? So the same thing goes for the max number, only the sign is different, right? Opposite. Now, let us print the max and the min numbers like this. 
I will use format string for this and I will say max number is with a curly bracket I will say max number and I will simply copy this thing and paste it here and here I will just change it to min number and here also I will change the variable to min number okay that's done now according to our requirement if I run this program I should get here as 200 and here I should get the data as 100 right that should be our target okay let's run this and see if we are getting the correct output or not yes you can see guys max number is 200 and min number is 100 so this is how you can use the ternary operator in python okay because if you are coming from c or c plus plus background or even java the syntax is something like this we check the condition and if it is true then it will execute this one true value and false value and in the middle we have the question mark and the colon this is the syntax for c c plus plus and also java okay a little bit different in java but they almost follow the same syntax okay but here in python you can see here right what i have done min number equal to the variable one if variable one is less than v2 else v2 we don't have any question mark and colon here it's as simple as writing like english okay fine so if you have any doubts regarding this you can post your doubts in the comment section i'll be very happy to clarify them and also at the same time if you really like our videos please don't forget to share them with your friends and family and whoever is interested in learning coding okay will be very glad to teach more new concepts okay and please 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 guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so that you receive notifications regarding our latest updates so this is all of signing off we will get back to you in the next video till then bye bye and happy learning thank you